Hello everyone and welcome back to My Heavenly Babies. Today is Fashion Friday and joining us is my beautiful little adopted Asian baby girl, Oshi. We love this baby so much and she is an unpainted baby, but guess what? We had to bring her up today because I'm getting ready to paint her. She's the next one. I did that African-American uh, boy, my um, Braylon, and now we're going to work on Oshi. I can't wait to show you guys the after uh, math when she's all done. I will do before and after photographs of her, but she is an unpainted baby and just gorgeous, so I can't wait to test my talents again doing now an Asian baby. She's joining in the club with the onesie babies. We wanted to get her in there before I started to paint her. So that way I knew she would get, you know, done and in a onesie like everybody else. But we're going to go ahead first and read our powerful prayers for every need. I, I missed that in the last few videos and I've really missed reading you guys. So we'll get back to it now. Uh, today we are on serenity. Let us feast instead upon the pure bread of honor and serenity and truth. 1 Corinthians 5, 8. Dear Lord, at church today, we were all going around saying I love you to everyone. Trouble is, it was a big fake. I know I sure don't feel love from everyone I said it to. Some I don't know and some I don't even like. That, bother, that bothers me because your word says that love must be sincere. I thought about just saying it just not saying it anymore. But instead, I ask you to change my heart. Give me a sincere love for those you love. Amen. Romans 12, 9. You know, isn't that beautiful? God loves us all. He loves each and every one of us. And have you ever done that? Have you ever been um, to gathers like that, like at church and stuff, and everybody goes around, shakes your hand, says, I love you. And you're not really sure, like some people you don't even know. But I love how God loves us all and how we can ask God to help us with that, to help us to love others. And I just am a big lovey lovey. I am. I can like love somebody instantly, you know, start watching a channel and just love that person instantly. And I think that's just a gift God gave me. And I just uh, immediately, like when I meet people, become friends, it's I love you right away. And it is sincere. I do care about those people. But you know, I'm not going to say my whole entire life when I said I love you was a sincere. It's just that I don't really use the word I love you unless I do love somebody. You know, unless I do have a love for that person, some kind of love, even if it's just, you know, a love that isn't even that big. But that word gets thrown around too much. It should be sincere. So ask God for that sincerity in, in, you know, in your heart. And when I tell you guys I love you on here, big hugs, big kisses, I love you. I mean it. I do. I truly mean it because I am a Christian woman. I have my salvation. I, you know, am just blown away how much God loves us when we're just so sinful and we do so many things wrong and hurt him so much, but yet he loves us. He loved us so very much that he sent his only son to die for us. So I try my best in my life to show that love. And I have a story to tell you. I always told my dad I loved him. Always. And that's why it's important to tell people you love, you love them. And, and we should love everybody. You know, it's, it's, we should just love everybody. We just should because everybody was made in God's image. You know, God made these people and none, nobody was here by accident. But that particular night, my father had passed away through the night. I was in a hurry getting my kid home. My kid at the time was uh, three years old. He's 25 now. He was three. We had been at a party all day, birthday party at my aunt's for a few people, for my grandma, my uncle. It was also my dad's birthday that week and all of that. And... We had so much going on, but my dad didn't make it. And so I brought Dylan over for my dad to see him. He said, could you really bring him over? I want to see him. Um, I really think my dad wasn't feeling well and he was scared. And that night he had passed away and something was telling me to tell your dad you love him. I told my dad I love you a billion, trillion, gazillion times. My dad knew I loved him. Why that particular night did I not say it? I don't know. I know he knows I love him and I loved him, but I hate that I didn't say it that night. So I'm very good about when people leave my house or I'm on the phone or whatever. I'm always good about saying I love you. You know, I because I live with that regret my whole life. My dad has been gone 21 years. He died in uh, 2002. So 20, uh, no, is, is it 22 years? Um, I think this January coming up would be 20. Well, it's 21 or 22 years. Um, and I still live with that regret all the time. I hate it. I hate it. I love you to me is a big word, but it means so much to me. And I want people to know that I do love them. When I tell you I love you, I do. I have big love in my heart. But we should have that type of love. Lord, I want to be near you, to fellowship with you, serve you, show you my love 
show you, show my love for you, but I feel so unworthy. That's why I was excited to see you call to draw near. Your call to draw near to you with a sincere heart is full in full assurance of faith. Having my heart sprinkled to cleanse me from a guilty conscience and having my body washed with pure water. I should have known you had already made a way to make me worthy. Amen. Hebrews 10, 22. Beautiful, beautiful, you guys. How we don't have to feel that way. You know, how we feel unworthy. And, you know, nobody should just have that heart like, okay, I'm great and there's nothing wrong with me. Of course, we feel unworthy to be around God. But we don't have to feel that way. We can, like it says here, um, how you draw near near to you with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having my heart sprinkled to cleanse me from a guilty conscience and having my body washed with pure water. You know, it's not that great. We can be washed and we can know that even though we may, you know, commit sins, we still have that guilty conscience, but we know that God's going to forgive us because God's love is real. Nobody could love you more than God. That's a sincere love and we need to learn, but we'll never love as big as God. You want a sincere love Give your heart over to God and watch the sincere love that you feel back from him when you're spending time with him. Father God, there is so much um, disharmony in your church. It's ridiculous the things we find that bicker, um, find to bicker about. Today I pray your words from 1 Peter 1 which says that we have purified ourselves by obeying the truth so that we have sincere love for our brothers and love for one another deeply from the heart. Unite us, Lord, in your love. Amen. And where it says brothers, they also mean sisters. You know, unite. You know, we all you need to unite. We all are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are, you know, and so we need to love each other like your real brother or sister. That's how we need to do it. We need to have sincere hearts. And I am, I'm a big huggy, huggy, a big, you know, I meet somebody in like, People move in here and by the next day we're best friends. That's just me. You know, I just, I really care deeply for people. I do. Have I been hurt and, and had to pull people out of my life? Absolutely. But I still have a big love and I never ever will, you know, even my enemies I don't hate. So it's not like I have a ton of enemies, but I still love them. I still pray for them. But it's sad that that's what's going on in our world. We need to come together and unite as one, you guys. Holy Father, when I say I love you, I mean it with all my heart. Amen. And I do. I surely love my heavenly father. I'm grateful he loves me and that he sent his son to die for me, for all of you, so that we could have eternal life, you guys, eternal life. What great reading today on sincerity. Um, sincere, I'm saying it wrong. Sincerity. And let's, let's get that sincerity in our hearts for God, for, you know, everybody around us. We're all sisters and brothers in God's eyes, you know, so we need to love each other and we need to have more love in this world. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus Christ, the one that died for us, as we cannot make it to his Father without going through him, believing. And this book here will not get you to heaven, but it's a great tool and to learn how to get your salvation and how to get to heaven. So let's read it. I've been reading, you guys. I've been reading. I haven't yet today. I'm going to try to get caught up on some more today, but I've been reading. I've been getting back to it. Um, but always like to be honest, you know, and always, you know, Try to tell God I'm sorry. There's no reason why I don't, you know, can't make time for him. There's always time for God. Always. We should be starting our first moment we wake up. Our, you know, that's what I've been doing is reading right away. That's what we need to do is pray. I pray to God the first thing when I wake up in the morning and that's what we need to do. We need to read. And that's the truth. I do. I pray every morning to God. I may have missed, you know, in the last few months, I would say maybe I missed like two. I don't know. God knows. But I do try every morning to pray to him and talk to him. You know, I do. And then I've been getting back to my reading and that's what I used to do, go right to the reading because that's when your day is going to feel the most amazing is when you started it with God and then you go through it with God and you end it with God. And I always end the night with God too, reading, um, you know, I mean, um, praying to him and then listening to the uh, Bible readings online. I love, love. It's N-R, how does it go? N-I-R-I -I and the um, Grace Wins. I listen to those at night when I'm going to sleep and it's just, oh, that's what I fall asleep to. And sometimes I can't even fall asleep because I just love listening to it, but all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that on Serenity. And yeah, let's get on to Oshi now. Let's get her and her onesie. Her onesie here is a cute floral. It's a baby pink. It's got white flowers that are, you know, poofed out and then embroidered uh, pink flowers with the green leaves. And then it's got a tutu built on it, which is that lace work done. And it's got two layers of it going all the way around the back. And it is buttoned in the crotch. And it is a nice baby pink with the softer, I mean, a uh, darker pink. And this is by Little Lass Babies. Oh, that's cute, Little Lass. I like that. And it's, um, this is a zero to three, but it's so small. 
Um, she wears more newborn, but this is a smaller look. So I got this from a Goodwill, I believe, or once upon a time, I think it was a Goodwill. But yeah, I can't wait to put this on her. Then we're going to do this beautiful flower since it has the flowers on it like that. I thought I would do that. And it's got the nylon cord on it, which I absolutely love. We're going to do that on her. And then she's just going to have a white uh, nook. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, get her in here before I start painting her. We'll take off her bracelet. She's got the beautiful roses on hers. I like that. Whenever you go into an Asian restaurant and you see the floral work um, that Asians do, it's just gorgeous. So I wanted her to have the floral bracelet. I thought that'd be beautiful for her. And she's got the cute uh, dinosaur sleeper for when we did the sleeper babies. So we're going to go ahead and change her. I am not going to powder her. She doesn't really need it. She feels okay from the last powder, but I'm not going to because um, by tomorrow, I believe I'm starting the painting tomorrow. So yeah, she won't need to be powdered because I have to bathe her anyways to get all the powder off that was currently on her. So we're not going to worry about powdering her today. Like I said, and she feels fine. Yeah, she feels fine. So we'll slide her up a little bit so she's in frame. Look at this beautiful baby. Get a good look at her because she won't look the same next time she comes back. And, of course, I always do a detailed video when I'm done a video on the aftermath. I'll have pictures before and then after, but also a video on it. I will have a video. She is bald. She will not have, well, maybe. I might be, if, if her head, I'm trying to figure out if I could draw on her. I might be able to draw the hair on her head. It was really squishy, squishy. She is squishy. But the really, really squishy are harder. She's got a little bit more firmer. She still is a 20 Eco, but she's a firmer 20 Eco Flex. But I might be able to, and if I can, then I, I, I might want to do it that way. I don't know. But she might be bald, but she'll be painted. I already did her diaper, so we're just going to go ahead and put the onesie on her. And we need to open all this up. But yeah, she's going to look precious in this. Yes. She's going to look precious. We love this adopted little girl. Yes, we do. I got her from AliExpress, you guys. Um... And Love with Reborns, um, 2011, Stephanie, her wife has this baby, and she also has it in the girl version. You can get it in the boy version as well. I'm almost tempted to get the boy version too, but I, I don't want to have another set of twins, so I just hope they come out with another agent um, where it would be boy, girl, and then I can get the boy in that. Or I'm going to be looking around, you guys, because I definitely want a um, boy little Asian. I would love that. I would love that so much. But if not, well, we've got... You know her. I've been loving adding ethnic babies to my collection. And she is one heck of a beautiful baby. And I know that Jackie really likes her too from In Love with Reborns. She loves her baby too. She's getting ready to paint hers. Um, hers is unpainted as well. Um, you can get them painted. But again, we don't like the paint that's on it. Because if we're going to paint the baby. Because the paint that comes with these babies just looks. It's bad. It's shiny. And you have to repaint it anyways. Or seal it or something. Well, it won't. You know, it doesn't. It, it's so hard to like get those babies painted. Um, you got to do some few steps before and all of that. So it's better to get an unpainted baby. Um, you know, you're going to do better with that. Um, if you are a painter, if you're not, I still suggest getting the unpainted and maybe one day save up the money and get it painted by somebody. And I do that. If anybody's interested, I do paint babies too. So if anybody's interested in me doing that or sealing a baby or, you know, whatever you're looking uh, you know, the seal, just a seal or um, paint. I know I don't work with the uh, the uh, vinyl babies, but I do work with the silicone. I love that she's got a tongue. She's got gums and a tongue. I can't wait to emphasize on that. We're going to go ahead and put her nook in. Did I have? No, I don't. So I opened her mouth a little bit more so that she can take full passies. I just don't have enough wetness in here to slide it in. But her nooks do slide right in all the way. There we go. Because I did open it um, up more in the inside, but you can't tell that. Because she does come open, but you'd have to do modified pacifiers. And um, I didn't want to modify. I don't like modified pacifiers because, you know, pacifiers alone are so expensive. And I want them to be able to share with all the babies. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing Oshi again. We'll get some cute photographs of her. And then that'll be it. The next time you see Oshi, she's going to be totally painted and look so much more realistic and so much more beautiful um, she's just such a beautiful girl. Like I said, I don't know if the hair will be done. If I draw it, then the hair would be done. If not, obviously she'll be bald then, but I will be rooting her then. You'll just have to see her painted because the rooting I ain't going to do till this fall. I'm getting all the babies painted through the summer so I can go outside with that, um, you know, the, uh, powder finish I use at the end, the matte finish. I don't want to be breathing that in. So I go outside. So I'm going to save the rooting. If I'm rooting babies, I'm going to save that till the fall and that'll be through the fall and, you know, winter. I'll be rooting babies because that takes a long time to do the rooting. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed her. She's going to blow you guys a kiss. And I always forget and put the nook in. But 
She can still blow you guys a kiss. She loves God, <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, and all her auntie, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas out there. Everybody take care. God bless. And we will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. And remember to learn how to love more. Ask God for that help. He will help you. I love all you guys very much, but God loves you more.